Good night, Irene. <laughs> Good shit, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, so next up, uh, we have, let me check my notes, because I don't want to butcher anybody's name. We have Jalen Reyes and Faso Almomani uh, fighting up next in the 54 kg division. Uh, this is going to be a good one. Jalen is the hometown fighter. And, uh, let me welcome Augie back to the commentary booth after uh, cornering. Uh, we have the Tiger Basil Almonte. I'm not gonna lie, he was the, the fighter that was the hardest to catch up with today. I wasn't able to make it uh, to catch him before the fights began, so I'm gonna be watching him fresh and brand new like the rest of you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in America, hopefully we're in for a show. Um, I'll try to give you as much as uh, what you're seeing at the, at the time, man. Um, now, he is fighting out of Chicago. I think he recently moved here. Um, but he's fighting out of Chicago fight team. Um, and on the other end, we have Jalen Reyes fighting out of Chicago Thai Boxing Academy. And they have a big crowd here in the audience. Yeah, I'm not sure if y'all can hear that on the broadcast, but... Uh, the crowd is very excited for him. Uh, he has a lot of support. His nickname is Scrappy, and I would say he is. He's uh, not the tallest in his weight class, but he does rely a lot on his hands, um, and he's always in there, and he's very composed. He doesn't really lose composure and get wild, but he's always ready to strike back, you know? Um, he's fought, you know, I've seen him fight plenty of times in the Chicago local scene, and he's actually, you know, fought my teammates a few times and they've always had bangers man great guy man i love him i love training with him he always likes to offer some different looks so for america that's not familiar with Jalen, uh he likes to switch stances a lot he likes to uh, rely on his hands he has sneaky power for a little guy um and he has a really good iq man he, he kind of you'll see he'll be very comfortable in the pocket if vasso allows for it um Think about that last fight, Augie. I'm biased. I'm always, I'm, I'm literally in the person's corner. Yeah, I love how you say that you're biased. Executed, I'm trying to tell them what to execute. I'm seeing stuff that I want them to do and they execute. So I'm seeing it from a successful point of view. I, you know, I'm just biased. So I, I thought it was a very, very good fight. Yeah. Likewise, with me doing this conversation on the fight, it, it does keep me kind of like neutral to understand that it's, it's all about the, the sport. But as a, as a coach in the corner, I saw Mika doing a little bit more that, and, and again, it's angles. I saw him doing a little bit more that puts me in, in his corner to say I think he won. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Close fight, great fight. Oh, I, great I think fight. uh you know I think Logan should be one of the next in line uh, for a title shot. Yeah. Um yeah they and, and I wanna see Mika again on Freedom. Like I yeah. think he showed out very well and he shows that he's gonna bring a fight whenever he's uh on any promotion. Yeah. So back to these two fellas man they're doing the Y crew Chicago Time Boxing Academy with the custom mind call Check out the jewels in that thing, matching their gym academy colors. <laughs> he in his bag now. Yeah, I've been, I, I'm, bag. I've been stressed about doing commentation. He, he done warmed all the way hey, up. Hey, bro, I'm in my bag, bro. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, man, they got Jeff Simonelli in the corner over here. Over here in the blue corner for Basa, we have Ahmed Abama, one of the best Muay Thai fighters in the youth, and now moving on to the adult divisions in the United States, man. Uh, he's a problem, and if he's giving you advice, and he comes from that Rami elite heritage and hierarchy, man, if they're giving you advice, you know you're something good is gonna be coming, man. So, uh, yeah, man, we, we got uh, our great referee, Matt Zilch, in this thing, man. And, and Jalen giving a beautiful wide crew, man. Beautiful wide crew. 
Ah, uh, that's one of the things that uh, is in his bag in my duffy. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you know, giving a beautiful white crew, one of the things the Chicago Thai boxing is known for outside of just being good fighters. Um, and Jalen has been really active. Uh, he's he also comes from a really like deep martial arts background. He's been training for 13 years. This will be his 14th fight. He uh, competed in uh, in the U.S. qualifiers for FMA. Just a really nice dude. And um, even even when loss when loss is the experience, I, I, I talked to him and he he just having a great time. He's not brought down from. Winning, he's not too much more more friendly from from uh, or he's not brought down from losing. Not too much more friendly from winning. He's enjoying the sport, which is ultimately why you should be competing. And who did his braids, man? I don't know, man. Fire, kind of fresh, boy. Yeah, All right, they start off, Iver, and here comes Jalen with the pressure, man. Let's see what Basu was expecting. Low kick, body kick, a good hand response from Basu. I love seeing uh, a fighter that's like really making eye contact or really focus on the, the, the person's demeanor and what their uh, what their responses are to those strikes. Great slip to overhand from Jalen, keeping that good balance. Oh no! And the fighters almost come over here into the commentators' booth and they get a small warning from our referee Matt Zils about hooking and reaping the leg. So so far, Jalen is he, he appears to be racking up scores. A way to see if Basil's going to oh, pull the trigger. That's a great, great body kick. Game. And he returns to the same spot. Good, uh, good stance change to uh, get out of the way of uh, Basil's strike. Yeah. And good angle. He's finding that angle uh, going towards the rear. Ooh. hitting it. Good slipping overhand. Yeah. Now, one thing for Basil and his, uh, and his corner, Ahmed Alakna, uh, they're giving instructions in Arabic. And you know, I understand a little bit of Arabic, so I can tell you what they're saying. Great, Ooh great lockdown. I, I want to see him pull that trigger, and, and that's what Ahmed is calling for—is for him to pull the trigger. Right now, Jalen's very comfortable, and he hasn't made him uncomfortable yet. Jalen is doing a really good job of feigning right outside of uh, Basu's uh, range, so that he gets a reaction from him. So then he can capitalize off that reaction, just like what he did right now. He had him check, and then as soon as his foot landed, he did that rear low kick, or that lead low kick. Yeah. Now, Jalen, interestingly, he said he wanted to chew up Basel's body, but right now, so many of his shots to the head are landing unimpeded that he hasn't had to change strategy yet. Well, this is the old, oh, nice overhead. Yeah, in great position in the clinch again. All right, so they're gonna go to the corners with a nice show of respect there. And now it's time to see what type of adjustments their corners make. Yeah. I'm not sure if Jalen's corner has to make any adjustments unless they want him to go for a knockout. He's got, yeah, he's got such good pressure in there. Good uh, balance even when they're on the ropes. Uh, Basel tried to sweep or, or off balance him a couple of times before they got ran to the ropes. And Jalen did a really good job of keeping his posture. Um, but Basel is uh, maybe just still warming up. Maybe he has some stuff that's still in his bag uh, of tricks and is um, kind of just taking his time before he really brings it out. Maybe this is his warm-up round and we see an even faster pace now. Yeah, I, I would like to see how much, you know, experience. I want to, I'd like to see how much experience Basel has, uh, which fight number this is for him. Just to kind of be able to, like, put into context uh, the type of fight that he's going yeah. All right, and they start off again. Jalen's in the corner, he's jumping, he's excited. He looks like he's ready to bang again. Basel's a little more controlled, and here comes that pressure right away. Okay, good sweep, and almost good balance from Jalen. Jalen did a really good job of trying to still keep that balance, even when he was all the way down. He didn't want to let himself just look totally thrown off. Now, Basel, uh, it looks like his corner adjustments is to get him to clinch and hold him there and get some scores. And it kind of stop some of that mid and long range striking from Jalen. Ironic to say long range, because he's short as hell. Yeah, he's, he's way shorter than Basel. And, um, some, I mean, I guess Basel was thinking that if I can get him to kind of over overpower you or if I get the power over you, I can kind of control that. Great head kick from Jalen. Basel tried to sweep him off of it. Jalen kind of turned him on the floor so he can get up first. Yeah, they, 
Jalen's throwing a nice duck as he comes in and throw those loopy overhands. Hey, man, that's something I never understood. I'm a taller fighter, but it worked really well with the shorter fighters, yeah. man. So this is what happens. Uh, uh, as a shorter fighter and, a, and as a taller fighter, most people have a blind spot kind of like under their cheekbone. So a lot of times if you dip and then bring that uh, hook up from the bottom, he can't see it until it's almost the last moment. Jalen's doing a good job of pressure and then having him go back. This is a very high tension fight. Yeah, definitely high tension. Uh, hey, Jalen's very much so in control, and right now it looks like he's just comfortable and more or less hard sparring out there. Again, you want to see some more from. Uh, boss, just to show us in your bag, baby. You know, kind of let it loose, man. Now's your time, man. Again, Jamie's doing a good job of just kind of controlling where Boss is. Boss is taller, so, I mean, to hit somebody bigger against the rope, it's looks really good as a pressure fighter, especially with him being a little bit more aggressive with those All right. And that, that goes into the, that is the second uh, round again. It looks like Jalen's pretty in control of this fight. Uh, Basel is not threatening. Again, anything can happen. And you know, you get that motivational speech from a uh, uh, Rami Ibrahim, uh, Ahmed Alatma. Hey man, you go out there, you can you can pull off a miracle. But hey man, my man might need a miracle tonight. It looks like he's gonna need a string of knockdowns or a knockout to win this fight. this next fight. So for the third round, we'll have some guest commentators again. Uh, Jalen. Bossel. Okay. Uh, and, and again, for, you know, this is the next fight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll have some guest commentators in here. Uh, again, Charles TJ, the thinking man out of San Antonio and Kingdom Martial Arts. Uh, he's in here. They saw a lot of uh, Muay Thai apparel as well. As, uh, you know, they, they, they house fighters. So, you know, if you're interested in improving your clinch game and working on some of your traditional tie, hey, feel free to come out. Absolutely. Now, again, Jalen has been controlling his fight from the top. Um, and Basel, he, he's reacting. I, I want him to pull the trigger on something at this point. Um, and I think that's what his corner is calling for. Like, just throw a strong one to make Jalen respect you because he's way too comfortable out there. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking Jalen's clinch work. Have you noticed every time that uh, Basel is close, he's really controlling that inside? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's getting his feet nice and square and great balance. All right, so Basel, he pulled off a string of uh, low kicks. And while I don't think that'll be enough to win this fight, uh, I hope that's something that he can watch afterwards. I love to make the space. On. You see when he grabs, he's making the space. It's very good from Jalen. Yeah. That's right, very impressive. Yeah, yeah, very Jalen's impressive. impressive. And I think he's next in line for a title shot for a vacant title at 54 kgs here in Freedom uh, for the U.S. title. And I think it'll be his third time fighting my teammate, Alex Hernandez, uh, an IFMA team member, uh, and they fought two times already. And Alex is 2-0 and against Jalen, but Jalen's showing a lot right here. And maybe he's made some improvements to where he can uh, handle Alex. I'll, hey, that's gonna be an exciting fight on Freedom. And it looks like we have our second guest co-host here. Uh, we have Jimmy. Better known as Jimmy East in the Midwest. He's a Muay Thai fighter, a referee, a judge, a jack of all trades, and a food connoisseur. If you need to figure out where you want to eat in Chicago, he has all the recommendations, and he's one of Jalen's teammates. I'm gonna pass off the mic to him and get ready to start my. Nice, nice, nice. Very good work. How are you doing, folks? Jimmy Eats on the mic. I'm with TJ Thinking Man Johnson. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm excited to see some more tie tonight. Absolutely. I'm very impressed with Jalen. 
very impressed with Bosman. I really like this guy's clinch work. My first time seeing him fight, uh, he's a shorter fighter. A lot of guys don't know that when the, old, the taller guy grabs you to put that inside control, uh, very impressive. Good balance, good inside control. Uh, I think that he might, I think he, I think, I think, I think he took this one. I've been training with Jalen for four years. Ooh. We've been working together uh, very closely. And uh, even the last couple weeks, we've been sparring, doing a lot of little tune-ups and drilling. And uh, yeah, he's been looking really sharp, really strong in the clinch. Obviously, saw him shifting stances. Yes. Uh, very seamlessly, he could jab, yeah. he could jab and, and kind of play both ways. Yes, that guy has his good. Oh, uh, but uh, this Boswell guy, he's in on slouch either. Very big heart, came for the whole fight. But I just got to give the edge to the red corner. Really technical. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Really technical amateur fighter, right? Absolutely. the whole time. Absolutely, absolutely. A uh, good composure, good strength. Um, man, I'm very impressed. Uses pro through those, kind of just stuffing with uh, his frames a lot, kind of just mm. jabbing his legs, like stopping yeah. the teeth, stopping that all That was the this. thing in the first round. Did you see when he made that frame right here on the side of the ropes? That set the tone, I believe, for the rest of the fight. And he, he just kind of kept him confused. Absolutely. Moving back and forth like that. He's like, what's this guy doing? 